So the first mental shift that I had to make in order to have the discipline and the willpower to stick to a diet and exercise routine was changing having to to wanting to. And here's what I mean by that. We always go on a diet and we say, uh, I have to eat this and I have to work out and I have to do that. When you have to do something, you are less likely to do it because now you've got all of this unnecessary pressure that you have to do something. And the truth is, you don't have to do anything. There is nothing in your life that you have to do. You always have a choice, always, period. You are in charge of your life, no one else. You, you make the decisions on what you do each day. So you don't have to do anything. You do it because you want to do it. So when I finally changed my mentality from I have to eat this way to I want to eat this way, that made a huge difference because why do I want to eat this way? I want to eat this way because it makes me feel good, because I have better energy, because I thrive, because it's helping me to slim down, because I know that these are the foods that my body thrives on. So when you can have that mental switch from having to do something to actually wanting to do it, not because you feel like you have to, not because anybody's forcing you, not because you have to force yourself, but genuinely because you want to eat this way, because you want to work out, then it makes sticking to a certain lifestyle effortless. The second mindset shift I wanna talk about is focusing on the long term. Health and fitness and your relationship with food, your relationship with your body, all of that is a long term game. You can't look at it as a 30 day fix, a six week fix, something short and quick that you're gonna do. How do I lose weight as fast as possible? That's You can't look at it that way because that is such a short term mindset. Mindset. You have to think of this as a lifestyle, something that you are doing for the rest of your life. It is a long-term thing. And as you continue this journey, you're gonna constantly grow and change and do things a little bit differently and change things up. It's a constant journey, it's a constant process. And here's the thing, a long-term mindset does not mean, oh my gosh, I can never eat another piece of pizza again and I can only eat broccoli for the rest of my life or whatever. That is not what a long-term mindset means because that is future tripping yourself. When you start thinking in terms of never and always, that's when you're future tripping yourself. That's not what you wanna do. You're not trying to predict the future or what's gonna happen in the future. Just let that go. All that you have is right now in this present moment today. Don't even think about dinner. Don't think about the snack from two hours from now. Just think about right now, right now, in this present moment. So I hope you can see the difference between having a long-term mindset and future tripping yourself. Having a long-term mindset means that you are committed. You know that this is a journey and a process, but future tripping yourself is when you start thinking in terms of never and always, and you start to feel stressed and overwhelmed because being stressed and overwhelmed and anxious and having anxiety, none of that is helping you. That is only hurting you in your journey. This should be a journey of joy and peace and ease. It should be fun. It should be something that you like and enjoy. That's what makes it a long-term lifestyle. So don't stress yourself out and get overwhelmed. The next thing I want to talk about is starting your morning off strong. I want you to think of your willpower like a battery and sleep is what fully recharges this battery. So when you go to bed at night, you're depleted. You're running on low, your battery needs charging. So you go to sleep and when you wake up, you're at 100% again. Your willpower battery is at 100% and you're ready to go. That means that you have the most willpower first thing in the morning. And as you go throughout the day, that willpower battery decreases. So you don't have as much willpower to do those harder tasks in the evening, but you do have the willpower to do those things in the morning. That means you wanna make your morning powerful. You wanna make your morning impactful. So when it comes to diet and fitness, if you hate working out, Try working out in the morning because you're gonna have a lot more willpower in the morning hours to go work out, to get things done. Try eating only fruit at least until lunch because you're gonna have more willpower to eat the fruit, to work out. Because you're gonna have more willpower in the morning, you're gonna be more likely to stick with that commitment of doing those things that you're not quite used to doing. And once you do that long enough, those things will become a habit. And how you start your morning affects the rest of the day. So if you can start your morning off strong with the workout, eating fruit, drinking a lot of water. When you start your morning out like that, it will carry over the rest of the day. And you do that long enough, it'll become a habit and it won't require so much willpower to do. And before I move on to the last point, make sure that you subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll be the first to see my next video. And the last thing I wanna talk about is don't overdo it. And basically what that means is don't under eat. 
Don't over exercise because see, I have that mindset of, ooh, if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna go all in and I'm gonna do it to the extreme. Meaning if I'm gonna diet, then I'm going to eat 1400 calories and I'm gonna run eight miles a day. Like that was the mindset that I used to have. I would just go to major extremes of over exercising and under eating. And all that that did was set me up for failure because now I was under eating, I was over exercising, I wasn't getting the right amount of calories. So on the weekends I would binge eat and I was constantly yo-yo dieting and I could never stick to my diet. Why? Because I was overdoing it. Meaning I wasn't getting enough calories and I was over exercising. So the big takeaway here is don't under eat. Make sure that you are getting enough calories and not over exercising, not pushing your body to the limits where you feel so fatigued, so tired all the time, depressed, you can't sleep, you know, all of these signs of over exercising. You don't want to go there. You don't want to push yourself to a point where your body has to fight back and wants to go binge eat, eat more calories, fall off the diet. That is not a place you want to be because it is very hard to have discipline and willpower when you are hungry because your body is going to fight back with a vengeance and it's very hard to stop that. And if you are looking to slim down and get lean and toned, then definitely check out this video right here where I talk about my favorite exercises for getting toned arms and I will see you in that video.